everyone, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel for another fun house tour decor video. Today I am super excited because I'm going to be showing you all of my Christmas decor. This year is our first year having a fully decorated house for Christmas and I am loving it. I just love being able to share all this with my kids and also just for me it's fun. <laughs> so today I'm going to start with the front porch and then we are going to move on to the inside of the house and I'm going to show you guys how I decorated everything. I'm also going to go over each thing, where I bought it from, and things like that. And I'm also going to try and link as much as I can down in the description below for you guys. At the end of this video, please comment down below and let me know what you thought, what your favorite thing was. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys, this is my front porch. I love how it turned out this year. I just think those Crocs are so cute how they turned out. I had no idea what I wanted to do with them at first, but then I decided that this front one could have a little lantern in it with some greenery. The second one I decided to pile high with faux presents. And I got each of these things, um, all of the decor and stuff, I got from Hobby Lobby. And then this tree back here I actually also got from Hobby Lobby for like 36 bucks. And then I sprayed it with some of that faux snow. So I love how that turned out. It's so cute. Every year on my little welcome post here I hang these bells that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I love them. I think they are so festive. <laughs> And then on this pot down here, I normally always have this pot up here with the same flowers, but this time I decided to put a little buffalo check ribbon around it just to kind of tie it in with the other side over here since this side has so much going on. Back here, I have this little tree that I put a little buffalo check bow on. And I got this tree from TJ Maxx forever ago. Um, and it does light up at night, so I love that. Up here, I have this really pretty wreath that I bought several years ago from the brighter side on Etsy and I love it but I do think I am going to upgrade to another Daisy Mabel for maybe next year because I love those wreaths but this one is really cute and well done I love it also down here I have a layered mat now the mat underneath I actually got from TJ Maxx and I really really love these types of rugs the hook um i can't remember what they're called it like hook something um and then underneath it actually says tis the season it's really cute but i really loved the holly and the berries as a border for a layered mat look and then i have my sweater weather mat from fall still but i feel like sweater weather can be fall it can be winter um it can even be spring <laughs> but I'm not gonna keep it here for spring. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love this layered matte look. It is so cute. So let's go ahead onto the inside of the house and see how I have it decorated. Okay guys, once again, Emma wants to be part of the video. So she will be <laughs> here and there and everywhere in this video because she just loves the camera. And uh, I know you guys loved her so much in my last video. And if you missed my last video for home decor, I would love if you guys would check that out. I will link it right here for you. So we are gonna go ahead and start over here today, I think. So over here, I have this fantastic antique mirror that I kind of refinished. And I put this super cute boxwood wreath from Target. Um, I think I got that two, like um, seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but look how great of condition it's still in. It's just holding up so well. And I draped some little beads across up there from end to end just to add in a little bit more red. On this bench here, I have my spreading the holiday cheer pillow. It's super cute. It is actually down filled. And I got that from TJ Maxx or Marshalls a couple years ago. Right next to that, I have my fleece buffalo check blanket here just to bring in a little bit more red. I actually got this rug like yesterday and I love it. I got it from at home. Emma's checking it out. <laughs> it's also one of those hook type of rugs. I love those. I feel like they are just extra Christmassy and cozy, but it says Merry Christmas. It has the holly and the berries that I like. And then it also has kind of like this shiplap look behind the truck. Over here on my little entryway table, this is how I have it decorated for this year. 
Over here I have my Kavology Winter Wonderland set for Emma. I just love it. It is so Christmassy. <laughs> it's so festive. I found this adorable little jingle bell doorknob thing at Hobby Lobby and it is in this beautiful burgundy red color. I thought about putting it on my doorknob but I knew it was just gonna be super noisy so I thought it would look really cute over here. I also have this little basket full of greenery and berries that I got from Miss Lucille's last year. I love it. Down here I threw a few little um, sprigs of berries on top of this plant that I just have year round and I figured it kind of ties in um, that way. <laughs> I put a little Christmassy colored placemat underneath here just to bring a little bit more red. I have some Christmas cards here that need to go out. Down here where my hunter boots are, I actually specifically purchased these boot socks for these boots just to add in a little bit more. Um, <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. <laughs> A little bit more coziness. I love the knit look for these boots, but these boots were here for my fall tour as well. So let's go ahead and move into the dining room. I actually love how it's decorated for Christmas time. I'm trying to get the right lighting because it is very bright outside today. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna start over here actually. So I have this super cute little bicycle pillow that I got from TJ Maxx last year. It's just the right size for this little chair. Up here, I have put on some garland this year, which I have never done on this before. I also threw a little tree up here and the garland, and then I found this at TJ Maxx last year. I thought it was absolutely adorable and had to get it. And it's just hanging on this little knob right there. Super cute though, it even has a jingle bell. And then I also have this little hand towel that I like to tuck in here and there in the house just to bring in a little bit more red and greens and things. I have a couple of Christmas cards that I've already received. Um, and then pretty soon this entire thing will be filled with Christmas cards. I love that. It's one of my things I do. <laughs> On the dining table, I, I love tartan plaid. It is so Christmassy and so cute. And um, so I have this tablecloth that I got from TJ Maxx uh, a couple years ago. And then I put on this. In fact, I think I either got this table runner at TJ Maxx or on Mercari. I can't remember. Um, but I loved the wreath with the joy on there. I thought it was super cute. I also have this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I don't know if you guys can see a theme here. <laughs> But I'm obsessed with TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I just love the unique things that you can find there. And it's just not stuff everybody has. So I really, really like this. It also brings in the tartan plaid from the tablecloth with the balls there. And it's got the berries. I love berries for Christmas. It says Merry Christmas. Super cute. One of the things that I always have in this dining room is this wreath. But I do like to jazz it up during Christmas. And I put in little buffalo check bows all the way around. So it's just, it adds a little bit more red in, super cute. There's Miss Emma hanging out over there in my chair. You are picture perfect, pretty girl. Look at you. I would be taking a picture right now if I could. <laughs> so cute. So up here on my little hutch, ignore my vacuum situation over here. Up here, I have this little swag that I found last year that I thought was just perfect for my window up there. I have a little Lennox deer over here. I think it's a reindeer, I'm not sure. Um, but I found that on Mercari a few years ago and I just loved the detail on it. So I had to have it. I have my little Santa mugs here. These are ironstone. They go for an arm and a leg, but I just, I had to have at least three. Um, so I got these last year and they are so cute. I love them. I threw up a little hand towel actually up here. This is a Martha Stewart tartan plaid hand towel that I just kind of wanted to drape over the end over here just to add a little bit more Christmas to this because I don't actually do anything on the inside of the hutch over here. The last thing to go through in here is actually my coffee bar, which I'm obsessed with. It's so cute during Christmas time. So this is the coffee bar. So let's go ahead and go through each thing. So up here, 
over here is some berries and some wintry branches and things like that that I kind of tuck behind my butt first coffee sign that I made. And um, I love to put in greenery on each side of this no matter what season it is. It's just, it just completes the top shelf of this thing. <laughs> Over here in my little ironstone pitcher, I have some berries with some greenery. I also found this, and there's actually another matching one to this um, down below here that I will show you guys in a minute. But I got this from an antique store. Somebody had put it together and it was just the cutest little thing and it fits perfectly in the shelf which is super hard to find things for because it's so narrow um, and then I found this little tree at Hobby Lobby last year I have my sugar stir sticks and creamers up here I have my little creamer cow here and a plate that says joy back here the plate is from Hobby Lobby as are these adorable little gingerbread cookie mugs and I thought those just looked really cute with the plate so I had to have them all. <laughs> Down here, I have a little magnolia and berry type of plant here. And then here is the other little matching greenery from up above there. And I think they're just so cute with their little frosted berries. Down here, I have one little Christmas tree that matches the other one up there. And here is my little smeg coffee maker that I'm obsessed with, I love it. My mom actually made this. This is a ticking stripe in red, but it kind of just reminds me of candy stripes for Christmas time. Um, and I love this runner. I wish I had one more for that table over there because I think it'd be really cute. Um, also right here, I actually bought this yesterday and I thought it was so cute I had to have it. I love the little deer. There's even little presents and mushrooms and birds. And I just, I had to have it. It was literally the only one in the store. This was at TJ Maxx. Super cute, loved it. So that is my coffee bar. Love it. And I do have a blog post I will link right here for you guys for how I decorated this last Christmas. And it'll have all the links and everything over there for you as well. Okay, I'm not sure if I wanna do the kitchen next or the um, living room. The living room has a lot going on. I think we're gonna start over here in the kitchen. So over here, I did hang a wreath this time on my market door over there. That is my pantry. So I had an extra wreath this year and I didn't know what to do with it, but I kind of love it right here. What do you think? I think this is so cute. <laughs> this is a hearth and hand wreath from a couple years ago and I added a buffalo check bow to the top of it. One of my favorite things in my kitchen this year are my ruggable rugs. I get so many questions about these rugs and I do have an unboxing and review on my channel for ruggable. If you guys wanna check it out, I will link it right here for you. But I am obsessed with these. I have a few different covers for both of these rugs and I just changed them out throughout the year. And it just really freshens and brightens things up, um, especially with when you're doing holiday decor. So I highly recommend them and I love them. These are their tartan rugs. I think this one is like a two and a half foot by seven foot, um, but they do make them even longer. And then this is a two by three and I do have the padded rugs underneath. So it's just super comfy to stand on. So let's go ahead and start over here. So there is my tartan plaid rug. On my little coffee bar over here, this is the one that actually gets used a ton. I have a little red greenery in my ball jar here next to my stir sticks. And then I have this super cute mug that I got from Starbucks. Um, I think it's like a 2003 Christmas type of mug, but I just loved the colors on it. And I thought it was so cute with my coffee maker. So I had to have it there. Over here, I actually just threw a red hot pad under this and I thought that was enough so <laughs> that's enough for that but I think it brings in just enough red you know I like it a lot over here this is one of my favorite little corners of my kitchen I have my little Merry Christmas sign over here it's got some cardinals and a wreath and I think that is from Joanne um, I also have my mixer sweater ceramic bowl that I got a couple years ago. I love it. I love changing out my ceramic bowls to go with the seasons. 
I also took the two candlesticks that I had from my fireplace that I usually have up there year round and I stuck them here with some bows on them because I didn't know what else to do with them but I think that it actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on over here. Um, I don't have too much going on over here actually. I'm gonna go over that in just a minute but I did get some little Lindor candies for my candy jar. I've already grabbed two out of there. I, I have a really hard time keeping my hands off of chocolate, especially lint chocolate. <laughs> so also over here, this is my little cake stand. I have my marshmallow fireside white barn candle from Bath and Body Works. I love that. It is so, so yummy smelling. I threw a little bit of greenery in my ironstone pitcher here. And um, I got those from Hobby Lobby. Not the, not this, this is an original. <laughs> but those are from Hobby Lobby. And I found this super cute little wooden present that says Merry Christmas on this tag up here. And I thought that was a cute little addition to my cake stand. Over here I have two placemats. These are from Kohl's. And um, they just have green and red woven in there. And I just thought those colors were perfect for Christmas time. Nobody really sits up here, um, but if they wanted to, at least they'd have a placemat. So let's go ahead and move on. But this is what it looks like from here. Let's move on to my little eating kitchen. I think this turned out really, really cute. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this first. So. This is another one of those hooked wool type of rug things. It's very old, but it's so cute. I gotta show you. It's got a snowflake design on it. I loved it. So I just added it here to give it a little bit more color. In my ironstone bowl here, I have a few little um, faux presents. And then I have this little acorn thing, so cute. So it's just like a little mixture of things to bring in some color, but I really, really like that. I think it turned out cute. Over here, this is literally one of my favorite places in my whole house. I love it. It's so much fun to decorate it. Over here on my apron rack, I like to have at least one apron that kind of gives a nod to the holiday, um, whatever holiday we're on. And this one is a vintage apron from who knows, maybe like the 40s or something. Um, it's really cute and I just love the, the pattern on it. So it's red and green and I thought it just looked so cute for Christmas. Over here I have a couple little trees that I've put in here and those are from Target. I put a few berries over here from Hobby Lobby and a few more little tucked in pieces from Hobby Lobby here. This little plant is from TJ Maxx. I added a little ribbon to the top of my sugar jar and that's actually a little ribbon that I got from a present my mom gave me. And um, I just, I thought it was so dainty. I loved it. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'm going to put it over here. Um, so I also added in a few more little pieces just to tuck in and bring in color. On my little lantern over here, I like to put a little bow every year. I don't know why. I think it's just cute. And then I always tuck in a hand towel here um, for whatever season we're on. So that is my eating kitchen. I hope you guys are having as much fun as me because I'm having a blast showing you everything. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start over here. Okay, there is a lot going on in the living room this year. So I'm going to start over here. I've got this swag up here that I got from Miss Lucille's last year and I thought it was really cute with my panel mirror. I have these trees over here that I got from Hobby Lobby. One thing that I really love is um, natural looking woods and things like that. And so these are kind of textured and have that natural wood look. They're also two different sizes, so I really like that. I have some ironstone pitchers. Those stay up there year round. I just decorate around them. <laughs> and this little thing is so cute. So it's a little scene. I'm trying to do it where there's, there we go. So there's a little truck in there, a street light, Christmas tree, and it does light up. Um, so usually I will light that up at night. And then I have a little tree from Target there. Let's talk about these stockings. 
I get so many comments on these every year and people are wondering where I got them from and they are actually handmade <laughs> by my mom. So I have had this one in particular since I was like a baby. <laughs> and then as my family has grown, my mom made me new ones. So when I got married, she made my husband's. And then with every child I had, I got to pick out the fabric and she would just put on the letters for me. So they're very special. I love them. This is Colton's. <laughs> it kind of hangs a little bit different than, than the other ones. I also turned on my fireplace today for you guys so you can just kind of get the overall cozy feel. I love having that electric fireplace. It's amazing. I also found this bow at Publix the other day and I, I couldn't leave the store without it. It was so cute and I just loved it for my little log carrier here. And then I got this from TJ Maxx last year and both Cami and Emma will just hang out in this whenever we're just chilling out in the living room. So they love it. Over here on my blanket ladder, which I love, I love my blanket ladder. One of the reasons I love it is because it is an authentic ladder from like the twenties. <laughs> so it is very old. I got it at Miss Lucille's and it's, it's just, it's going to probably stay in my house for forever. I love it. These stockings are made by Pottery Barn. I thought they were so pretty. They're a burgundy cable knit and I love them. And they have this super cute little button detail. Now these, I actually had custom made on Etsy and I love them. They are so cute. I have Cammie's name for her stocking and Emma's name for her stocking. I also have two blankets here on my ladder. Now the top one is actually from Target, but I've had it for forever. And this one I actually got from Amazon and it's a little fringe style one. It's fairly thin, um, but it does a good job of bringing in the Christmas look. So that is what I have there. There's our tree that my boys actually helped me decorate this year. I, I allowed them to this time. Uh, there's so many um, fragile ornaments that I usually hang those myself, but then there's plenty of soft ones that I allowed them to hang, so I don't have to worry too much about it. Let's go ahead and move on to the couches real quick here. I found this adorable pillow at Ross, believe it or not, and it says Mary and it has a red plaid, and then you have the wreath around it, and you have like this stitching detail that I was, I thought that was super cute, but my favorite thing about it is how well it ties in with my pillows from Hearth and Hand. It's, it's like a perfect match. But besides that, I also have this cable net red velour type of blanket that I just, I'm obsessed with. It is so soft, you guys. I got that from TJ Maxx or Marshall's like two years ago. All right, so back to these pillows. I just got these this year. I had to get three, so there's one, two, three. <laughs> and they are big. I'd say they're like Euro pillow sized, um, but they, they work really well for couch pillows, so. And then I just paired them with my Kohl's pillows that I've had for forever. In my little basket on my table here, I have this little bucket that I got from Joann's and then I got these flowers from Joann's as well and uh, just tucked them in there and I felt like that was enough for this table, at least for this year. Let's look at all these ornaments. There's some really, really cute ones in here. <laughs> and then I got that one too. Little Emma ornaments. So um, I like to decorate with buffalo check bows, if you haven't noticed, which reminds me that I, there is something that I missed to show you guys in the kitchen still. Oh, I hear Miss Emma. There she is. You heard me talking about you. <laughs> so on my tree here, I have some little ornaments from Ray Dunn. I have Hobby Lobby ones. Um, I have handmade ones. My mom made me a whole bunch of animal ornaments. So I have a bear, a bunny. I've got this little door from Hobby Lobby. I just got that this year, it's super cute. Um, and then I have a lot of Target ones. Uh, last year we grabbed a whole bunch of these types and I thought they were so cute. So that's just a little look at our tree. Um, I also got this tree collar last year from Target. 
It's from their Wonder Workshop, and I really like it. It really actually saves up space on the floor instead of having a tree skirt. So, <laughs> and if you're wondering how I keep my cat away from my tree, um, I actually have these things called scat mats that I usually keep on the floor the entire season of Christmas, anytime I have a tree decor up um, and things like that, because she literally will eat my tree and it's, it's bad news. So I'd rather, I'd rather have the scat mat. And then also my cat causes me problems. I have to put another um, cat deterrent mat right here normally. Um, so she can't jump up there and eat my greenery as well. She is such a naughty cat. But look at this pretty girl. Emma, you're a good girl. <laughs> I told you she liked that bed. Okay, so that is the living room so far. Um, I did want to show you guys up here. See these little bows? They're so cute. I love those. I got those from Hobby Lobby this year. Um, and I just thought... They're just so perfect up there above my little lights. So I have three. Oh, and this is the other thing I wanted to show you. My mom actually bought me this this year. It's called the Countdown to Christmas. And you literally just move this little guy. So it's the first of December, second of December. And then you just do that every day. And I think the kids will be able to do that and it'll be fun for them. So that's what I have there. Let's move on over here. I promise we are almost done. Over here I have my little mantle that I've put over this grate and I've hung a couple of stockings that I got from TJ Maxx last year. They've got these little Christmas crocheted trees on them. They're so cute. So I've hung up those over here and I just use the 3M hooks. They work great for that type of thing. And then I have this little truck. They actually still have these at TJ Maxx this year. They're really cute. I have this Merry Christmas sign that I got from TJ Maxx. I found this super cute little candle at Hobby Lobby. I found this little wreath from Hobby Lobby and this little tiny pedestal from Hobby Lobby. So I just kind of paired them all together and I think they look really cute. I've also added a little tree from Target here and I feel like it kind of completes the look over here. One of my favorite things that I did is actually hang this mistletoe up here. So I try to grab my husband occasionally and be like, ooh, look, there's mistletoe. So I've got that up there. Over here in the hallway, I've hung a couple of things that I can grab easily and quickly on my way out the door because it's been real cold. I also have this little Merry Christmas pillow that I got from TJ Maxx, I think, uh, a couple years ago. Super cute. Uh-oh. You think you're going somewhere? And then on our little rack for Emma's stuff, I have her Sherpa harness from Cabology, the blue velvet one, and then I have her little sweater over here. But I really like the one she's currently wearing. All right, you guys, that's it. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it fun. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.